Welcome back, everybody. So we're kicking off the uh, seventh inning here. Getting set for the seventh now with the Cubs out in front. And before the inning gets underway, let's get a look at our game summary to this point. And here is Alexei Ramirez. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Lester ready. The 1-0. Fouled back. Yeah, and that just went nowhere. One one on the way. And that's taken for a cold strike two. Now the one two. Try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer yeah. dirt. Yeah, I mean, at this point, you might as well go for a, another ball. See if you can get him. And then, you know, go for a good solid strike on the last one. Line hard into left. And a Ooh. Start to the seventh yeah, that was a good hit. Ramirez will head for second. And he will pull in here with a leadoff double. Yeah, good move there. Stays at second. so far, but... Finally, maybe a little sign of life. He drives this ball for two bases, and even though they've had trouble scoring runs, they're not out of this thing by a long shot. A couple more of these could get him right back into it. Tyler Flowers will stand in, but with the tying run still in the on-deck circle, he needs to get on base somehow. From the belt, the pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Mm -hmm. Bullpen working behind him, but you know this guy does not want to give up the baseball. And he never does. I just don't think that's in his mentality. 1-0 pitch now. Look out, 2-0 now. Now he's going to get a visit from his catcher just to make sure he's all right, but... This might actually be more of a stall tactic here. I mean, his pitch count, it's starting to get up there, so this might just be to buy a little time for that bullpen. Yeah, I didn't realize there, but it actually shows how many pitches they've thrown, and this guy's thrown, like, Soon to be 89, so. 2 0 count, the pitch. 3 and 0 now. Omega yeah, he's got to start going here. for some strikes, Wait, otherwise, he's going to walk this guy and put another One guy on third. Hits. Two errors for the White Sox so far. Now the 3 and 0 off. Uh, and a good comeback there. It's uh, uh, one. So finally gets a fucking strike on the board. there for ball four so runners are at first and second now with nobody out and well, now the further he goes in this one the less precise he's going to be with his location you can see all right i forgot that there's a guy in second so he doesn't here. move to so third he's starting to get tired and running out of gas out yeah no my bad on his way toward the mound now is skipper still though with the guy on first and second they got to be fucking careful because if these if the uh, Sox hit a home run here they can tie things up so this might not be good here Jason Mott will come on now as he'll take over in inning number seven Emilio Bonifacio will dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. 
Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more interesting. First pitch coming. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. He waits. Now the pitch. And he'll try and catch him by hmm. surprise here as he drops this one down. And they're not going to have a play on him as the catcher just eats it. Let's check this out again. This is yeah, that was a good move. You'll see how he shows Bunt late. He's got his head right on the baseball. Watching it all the way under the barrel of the bat. That's as good a form as you're going to see. Adam I got the pinch hit here in a big spot. Base is loaded. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Yeah, if he gets a home run here, then forget it. Looks like they're going to be able to get at least one run there. the run from third, and don't look now, but the lead's cut to two here. That's a nice swing of the bat right there. Hit that ball right on the bat. Yeah, that was good for the Sox. That'll easily score that runner from third. Put that right where it needed to go. It's well done. And I still think they have no outs yet either. Zero outs, it looks like. So this could actually be really fucking good for the Sox here. They can get some more shit going here. They may be able to take the fucking lead. But we'll just have to wait and see. Here's the one zero. That misses two and zero. Now the pressure will really start to mount out there. That strike zone's gonna feel like it's the size of a soup can right now. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. Now the 2-0. Right on, but this is foul down toward the box. Yeah, not able to make anything happen there. Here he comes on 2-1. All right, now it's two and two. So now the hitter's got to be careful here. Ooh, yeah, three and two. Both the uh, pitcher and the hitter here are kind of... Uh, this has got to be so probably got to be middle. sweating a little bit right here. Payoff pitch coming. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Payoff pitch one more time. Uh, here's a hard hit ball. That'll get down into left center field. That's a base hit. One run is scored. And the second run will score as that lead has evaporated. It's now a tie game for a beat. Yep. This is a Just like that, it's all tied up. That was well done. Well done indeed. Yeah, I think they're getting a new pitcher out there because they're like, fuck this, this other guy sucks. We're going to fire him. Uh, uh, uh. So we'll see if Mr. Jacob Turner can uh, turn things around here. I <laughs> get it, because his last name's Turner. All right, anyway. Sorry, it was a terrible joke. Then again, if there's one thing I'm good at, it's terrible jokes and terrible commentary, because I fucking suck. All right, anyway. <laughs> Still with zero outs, too. Things are looking fucking really nice for the uh, for the Sox here. And this one's bunted out in front of the plate. Yeah, took his ass out though, so that's one out. But they still got people on three and two, so he did exactly what he needed to do there, just take an out and put his guys on two and three there. Jose Abreu will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. All right, we'll see what this guy does. 
Oh, they're gonna intentionally walk him. And there's ball four now, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force at the plate is in order. Yeah, they decide they don't even want to mess around with this guy. But with his track record, it's hard to say you blame him. Let somebody else beat you. Avisail Garcia will step in with a full house out there in what may be the pivotal at bat of this game. First pitch on the way. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Now he's going to have to punch his way off the ropes now. Yeah, this has not been going good for the Cubs. That's for damn sure. Yeah, so that was that was a lucky break for the uh, for the pitcher there. Another good move for the pitcher here. So now kind of puts the batter at, on notice here a little bit. Try, but nope. Ooh. Ooh, shit. Got through him there. Oh, man, that was good for the Sox. God damn. That puts him up six to fucking four. Yeah, that was a good move by the Sox there. No fucking doubt about it. Oh, and that'll do it. Either way, though, that was not a good inning for the Cubs there. That that sucked ass for them. Yeah, that was a great inning for the Sox. They went from being down like 4-2 to two to being up 6-4. to four. Good solid pitch. And the pitch. And now a curveball. And that one was definitely a ball. Now, how important is it going to be for this guy to throw that curveball for strikes? I don't know that he necessarily needs to ever throw it for a strike. I mean, if it's around the plate and he's getting guys to go after it. It's doing its job, but when it starts to get too yeah, you shouldn't have too far outside, swung at that. Then it's just an easy take. Might have been a ball. The right-hander deals on one and two. Ooh. So yeah, gets him a single. It's not bad. He's like, yeah, look at me. I'm awesome. Fuck yeah. 
it's a borderline strike if it's in the strike zone at all, yet he just reaches out and slaps it into right field. Mike Wolf will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. You think at this point you have to get something out of this end. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back to this deficit. Yeah, that was clearly high. Very uh, high ball. A lot of foul balls this time. Another one two delivery. And a swing and a miss. Yep. A late Straight up missed that one. Down on for the second time this afternoon. Man, I feel like this inning has been going on for a while now. It's because the Sox were doing so good with their uh, at bat, I guess. Really hope this one doesn't last too long, though. Because again, my, uh, the way my recording device works is that it typically only lets me record videos of up to about approximately like 27 minutes in length. So I try to keep the videos at least like 20 minutes or less. So hopefully I uh, can fit this one in here. Otherwise I may have to do some editing, which I don't like doing. Because otherwise it'll split the videos into two parts. Then I have to splice them together. And I don't know. I just I don't like video editing. It's not my forte. That's why everything that you see on my YouTube channel is just raw video game footage. Because again, I just I don't like editing. That's why I just again I just use raw video game, you know, raw gameplay footage. Plus, you know, I just like to keep it real. That's how I do things. Well, at least it wasn't a strikeout there. He'll try again, one, two. Late swing. Another foul, all right. Into the seats past the third base dugout. Again, a one, two. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Yeah, an interesting setup now on two and two. Here's where you really need to pay attention to that guy at first. Yeah, that's how it is in baseball sometimes, though. There are some innings that can last for fucking ever, and then there are some innings that are over in, like, a minute. Yep, that was nice. Still, though, they got a guy to second. Dexter Fowler now as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's set now the pitch. Oh, he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate with the fastball as he backs him off a bit. Here's 
with the one one pitch. Cold strike two on the cutter and he's all right so one and, one and two definitely puts him on notice here comes the one two good plate discipline to lay two, off two. slider that time. that was close Oh, man, epic failure there. All right, well, guys, that'll do for that one. Peace out.